Hello Snap-on fans, I'm Nick the Tool and I've got another product to show you here today. This is the Snap-on thermal imaging camera. Cracking bit of kit, saves you a huge amount of time when you're trying to find faults. You'll notice it has a very large screen and down the side of the screen here there is a colour chart. If I put something hot in the way, at the top of the chart it's a light white colour, gives you a digital readout of what temperature that white colour is and at the bottom of the screen is the black colour, so with a low temperature. So every now and then it will say calibrating when it sees a new temperature and it will obviously give you an accurate reading. Now there's a few guys out there who are using our temperature gun with a red laser which gives you an infrared temperature back. All that's giving you is a random temperature pickup from around the area where you are pointing the gun, which can be accurate for finding some faults but what this gives you is a true image. So what you're actually looking at is live information, like a video with your naked eye, but you can actually see the heated items moving around. To give you a bit of an example of how that works, if I put my hand against this toolbox and I hold the camera in front of it, you can now see that my hand is obviously very hot, the ring on my finger is ice cold, my watch is different temperatures depending on the materials it's made out of and you can see the heat going up into my jacket. Now if you keep looking at the screen I now remove my hand and you can see the heat signature left on the corner of the toolbox. This shows you how accurate it's picking up the difference in the temperatures. Now when you put that over onto fault finding on a car if you think about most modern vehicles the items that go wrong either get are getting too hot or they're not getting hot. So you can now look for those faults, if it's binding brakes, if it's a problem within the coolant system. What you can now see is the thermostat switching and watching the water move with inside the pipes. If you're looking for glow plugs, you can see the heat signature going into the engine. But electrical faults are where this tool seems to be used mainly now. So you can't see an electrical fault, you need to get your multimeter out and you need to start testing. If you have a high resistance joint, it's normally creating heat. Because it's creating heat, you can pick the fault up very quickly. Also, if you're looking into a fuse box and you're looking at relays, if a relay is sticking, you can't see with a glance, but that relay will likely to be getting hot. Or if the relay is chattering in and out, it will warm up and you can pick it out of the lineup of relays very quickly. What's nice about the Snap-on tool is, if we click on menu, we have a list of lots of different examples. So if I was to come down here and pick on a traditional one, so the powertrain, let's say we've got a misfire, what this tool will actually give you is a known good and a known bad fault. So here's your four cylinder engine running fine and guess which cylinder's got the misfire on. Obviously you can find it very easily. If you come down here, there's lots of different examples. Pulleys and bearings is a favorite. So let's say you've got a water pump and it's on the side of the vehicle, here's the water pump running normally, here's the centre of the bearing getting hot. So you can see that maybe the bolt is getting hot or there's a problem with the bearing on the pulley. All these presets are built into here. Um, my favourite one that one of my customers has had recently is one of his customers arrived at the garage with a problem with a battery drain on a vehicle, that headache when, how are you going to find it? So he parked the vehicle in the workshop, he'd got one of these on demo from me, he charged the vehicle's battery up and then thought we'll have a play with the thermal imaging camera and see if we can find where the fault is. He lifted up the bonnet of the vehicle, looked into the engine bay thinking I, I can't see how this thermal image is going to help. Instantly you could see the glow plugs were still hot, which it was because they were permanently live. So brilliant, he'd found the fault, now all he needed to do was find the relay. Within 10 seconds he'd found out where the fault was. He then thought, I wonder what else I can do with the thermal imager. So he had a play around the engine bay, noticed there was a hot spot by the wing and the relay was underneath some of the lagging in the wing and that was the relay for the glow plugs. So he found the glow plug fault and the relay in a matter of seconds. So really does save you some time. Nice big screen, some of our competitors have a little diddy screen and you have to get right up close into the vehicle to see. But with this, obviously you can see things easily. So. If you would like one, ask your franchisee!